Welcome to this demonstration video on the New South Wales Online Registry. This demonstration will briefly step you through the online process for filing a Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments. A Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments, or UCPR Form 46 or 47, is used to apply to the court for an order to pay a judgment debt by instalments. If you're the judgment debtor, as in the person who is liable for the debt, you may file the Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments Individual, or UCPR Form 46. If a company is the judgment debtor and you are filing on behalf of the company, you may file the Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments Corporation, or UCPR Form 47. If the judgment creditor is the Australian Taxation Office, the ATO, you must apply to the ATO directly to pay by instalments. In this instance, the court cannot consider your application. Please note that prior to filing online, you must also have a pre-prepared UCPR form ready to upload later in this process. The information in the uploaded form must exactly match the information you enter online. The UCPR form also contains an affidavit that must be signed by a Justice of the Peace, Solicitor, Barrister or Notary Public prior to being uploaded in this process. You can download the PDF or Microsoft Word templates from the UCPR website at www.ucprforms.justice.nsw.gov.au If you haven't previously filed court forms online, you will need to register before you can file the Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments online. Once registered, you will then need to add the case to your case list. If you require more information on the registration or add a case steps, please refer to the relevant demonstration videos available on the New South Wales Online Registry YouTube channel. Once you've logged in and added yourself to the case, you will need to search for the case on the Search Case List screen. Enter the search criteria, such as the case number, then click Search Case List. The case will appear in the search results. Click the file form icon beside the case name. A list of available forms that can be filed on this case displays. Select Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments. The UCPR form will display. The case details have been pre-populated based on information entered at an earlier stage. Scroll down to the Judgment Debtor section. The Judgment Debtor and Judgment Amount will display. If you've selected a default judgment, you will see a judgment amount. This amount does not include interest or any additional costs due to enforcement action, for example, the cost of filing a writ for levy of property. Next, complete the instalment details. The instalment amount, frequency and start date you enter here must be identical to the details in the Notice of Motion to Pay by Instalments form you upload later in this process. You should carefully review your income and expenses when deciding how much to offer for instalments. The Register will look closely at all your financial information to see whether you can realistically afford to pay the offered instalments. The Register will also consider whether you can afford to pay more than you have offered and whether your payments will be high enough to pay off the judgement debt and the interest within a reasonable time. When you've entered all the information, click Next. Click Next to continue. The attached signed form screen displays. Next, you need to attach the signed UCPR form you prepared earlier. The information on the uploaded form must match the information added to the online form. Click Attach. Click Browse. Your computer directory screen will display. Locate and select your Save PDF form, then click Open. Click Attach. Your PDF document will display in your Attach Files list. This is the last opportunity to edit the form in this process. If you want to make any changes, click Edit Form. Once you click the Submit button, the form will be submitted to the court and you will not be able to make changes. When ready, click Submit. Your form will now be processed by the court and you'll receive an email to confirm your submission. Your form will then be reviewed by a registrar and either granted or refused. 
you will receive an email to notify you of this outcome once a decision has been made. The outcome will also be available on the New South Wales Online Registry website. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. We hope it's helped guide you through this form. More forms will be made available over time, so please keep an eye on the New South Wales Online Registry homepage for the latest updates.